So it was phenomenal for them that, uh, you know, the extra load was all taken over by the AI. Uh, you know, the teams became a lot more relaxed. They didn't need to, what they stopped doing was, you know, whenever someone left, uh, they, they didn't fill those positions, right? They let, let the AI, so they didn't fire anyone, but at the same time, they didn't need to fill all the attrition that was. So they had this massive cost saving. They saved about, they reduced their call center cost, customer support cost by around 35 to 40% in a matter of about eight, nine months. And uh, they had better SLAs, better service levels, right? So customers were thrilled that, wow, now I don't need to wait on the phone for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes to get an executive. I get it in, in five seconds of calling. And uh, it was just a better, you know, better experience with cost savings. For them, it was like a double win, which is a, a rare commodity usually. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. So, I mean, with this example, not only have you focused on um, the productivity side, but looks like you've also impacted the employee experience. Uh, for the agents, you know, because right now they have uh, more access to more systems rather than, you know, spending time trying to hunt for information. Correct, correct. Yeah, in fact, you know, like the agent experience also is quite terrible because they would have like 11 screens open at any point and one for the knowledge, you know, SOPs and all, one for like core banking, one for the credit card system, one for something else. Now they have just one screen, which is the AI, AI assistant screen. They chat. They also chat with it and kind of, you know, get info or get stuff done. So for them also, it's become a lot cleaner and much lesser training, right? It used to take about two months to train a staff on to everything. Now within a week, they can start taking calls. Right. right. So, you know, you have been implementing these solutions for a lot of your customers, uh, right? And as we see in the marketplace, there's a lot of uh, POCs, uh, proof of concepts, or uh, proof of technology that is going on, but not much that is going to uh, making its way to production. 